Hey, hi you guys, Aries. Welcome to your general forecast. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. And remember to check out your moon and rising and Venus sign videos for a more complete picture. My readings, they do mount together. I really want to thank you guys, Aries, for the support of my channel. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you. Today you're going to get five cards from the Rider Waite deck. One card from the Lover's Oracle and one tea bag fortune message. And now here's your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Aries, you've got the Seven of Cups, water energy. This is Venus in Scorpio. This is the overall theme of the reading. And someone is looking at all their choices and their options. They're having difficulty choosing. There's confusion even illusion. It can be dreams, visions, fantasy. So many options available and just exploring these options with confusion because not all of these options are based in reality. There's imagination, wishful thinking, even escaping reality by drug use. Remember only take the portions that resonate with you. This is dreaming, questioning, being distracted, visualizing your goals and focus is needed. This is a time when the imagination is working overtime and choices seem too many. So to choose one direction, it seems almost impossible. It is good to dream and experiment, but make sure your fantasies are not blocking your development. A choice must be made if anything is to be achieved. Along with the confusion over the decision is also an abundance of creative and artistic talent and energy. And remember that the aim of wish fulfillment is to be happy without any more wishes. In love, someone may be not feeling emotionally fulfilled. So focus on the here and now to get forward movement. And it warns us not to give in to temptation, seduction, or addiction. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences, Aries. Number 10 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Wheel of Fortune. This card is ruled by Jupiter. This could be a Sagittarius. Sagittarius could be in your chart, or you could be dealing with one. The Wheel of Fortune represents destiny and fate, chance, opportunity, things moving in your favor, and it's divine timing. Now in this position, these energies are restricted. They're challenged. This could be someone that's holding back their own destiny by refusing to make the necessary changes. Then this brings in feelings of stagnation and frustration. Could be the fear of unknown that is blocking you. Or someone may just be fantasizing and not acting. It's delays that are due to a lack of commitment. So ask the universe to show you. The Seven of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune is choices and wondering what your odds or choices will be. And to choose one option over the other means if you don't choose, it means life may sweep you down one of these choices, but it may not be the best choice. So make the highest choice and believe in yourself and go for it. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of, Aries. The Seven of Swords, Air Energy. This is Moon in Aquarius. This is someone that's using evasive tactics. They're being sneaky. They could be hiding something. They could be trying to avoid a confrontation. 
Maybe they just don't feel ready. It's escaping a problem rather than facing it. It's a covert action due to necessity. They're not being up front. This situation calls for caution, diplomacy, and knowing when to walk away. It's being elusive, tactful, indirect, secretive, subversive, clever, calculating. This person can be a taker. They're avoiding things. Can also be stealth over the internet. They're a lone wolf. A lone wolf. They may be plagued by guilt. Or this can also be a secret relationship. They may be sidestepping an issue. Or taking a risk to get away. Hiding from the truth. Seven of Cups with the Seven of Swords is deceiving yourself. It's choices and trickery, daydreaming and strategy. Two sevens in a reading represent news and tests and adjustments. Your fourth card, it's a card of the future, the outcome, the results, and the advice. Aries, you've got the Page of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is an emotional trigger point. It can be a message. Could have been slow to come in, but it's worth it. It's romantic news, or news about a creative project or adventure. This is someone being intuitive, acting on a hunch, being sensitive, noticing synchronicities. It's someone who is emotionally immature, or they've reached out with just very small expressions of love. This is someone that has an innocent and trusting nature. They use lots of feelings, feeling words to communicate. I miss you. My feelings were hurt. I'm happy. Stuff like that. They could be fishing for information. The Seven of Cups with the Page of Cups is a dreamer and they're not making up their mind about feelings and to make a move or not. It's fantasizing and not being realistic. Your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card, the underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this, Aries. The Knight of Pentacles. Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could be a Virgo. This is someone who's attractive, and they have their stuff together. They take care of themselves, and they're financially comfortable. This is a very good partner to align with. And they're being more focused on getting things done. Knights are on a mission, and they do their duty. This night could be bringing good news or communication. It can also indicate the coming or going of a matter. This is someone that's being unhurried and practical and productive, purposeful. This is a midway point. It's completing projects, getting or giving money or job or house hunting, offering stability. The Seven of Cups with the Knight of Pentacles it's choices and a tangible offer. It's options with what you are working towards. Or someone could be bored at work or with a routine. The Wheel of Fortune with the Seven of Swords. This is a risk that's involved. And if this risk is not well calculated, it will cause a downturn in the wheel. And then there would be a loss. So caution be use caution and handle with care. 
The Wheel of Fortune with the Page of Cups is changes and cycles with emotions and messages. It's taking a chance on a harmonious relationship. It's good luck in relationships. Or it could even be going round and round with news of an emotional energy. The Wheel of Fortune with the Knight of Pentacles. Circumstances change dramatically. It could be money shows up unexpectedly, even a promotion, and it has long-lasting effects. Seven of Swords, the Page of Cups, is someone they could be shy. They may be hiding emotions. They have insecurity and hidden emotions. They could be lying to themselves or hiding their feelings to protect themselves. It's not trusting and not sharing. The Seven of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles is a plan or a scheme that becomes known to you over time. It's dealing with plans in a slow, methodical way. The Page of Cups with the Knight of Pentacles, this can be a love message that was slow coming in, or incoming. It's slow to make a move on those long-lasting feelings. It's being practical about feelings. And this could be messages that carry long-term success and emotional satisfaction. Here's your Lover's Oracle card by Colette Baron reed No, I'm sorry. This is Tony Carmine Solerino. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. Here's your tea bag fortune message. Accept who you are in this moment, but acknowledge who you want to become. Accept who you are in this moment, but acknowledge who you want to become. Thanks, you guys, Aries. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember... What goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.